With over $30 billion in e-commerce sales in 2021, Canada has quickly become one of the most ideal regions to dropship to. That's why in this video, I'm going to show you how you can start your own dropshipping business on Canada, no matter where you live around the world. Quick intro and let's go. Welcome back, I'm Liran from AutoTS and in this video you're going to learn how to start your own profitable dropshipping business when selling to the Canadian audience. Right before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to always learn about the next step that you need to take in your e-commerce venture to create and maintain a highly profitable dropshipping business. That being said, like and share this video if you appreciate the value. Now let's go ahead and jump right to it. How do we start dropshipping in Canada, no matter where we live around the world? For those of you who have been watching our videos and learning from our knowledge base at our blog page at autodscom slash blog, there you can learn about so many and anything and everything that you need about dropshipping and e-commerce. And one of the things that I always repeat throughout these blog articles and throughout these videos is that when you're dropshipping to multiple regions around the world, you learn about the worldwide market. And Canada is one of the most lucrative markets that we can actually sell to, and they proved it by their purchasing power in 2021. And each year, these numbers are growing. Now, let's start by getting the legal stuff out of the way. First of all, is it legal to dropship in Canada? Of course it's legal. Dropshipping is a legal business model. The only thing that you need to do is know what products you can and cannot sell, and what are your tax obligations. Now, you can learn about this once again in our blog channel, and I'll also leave a link to our Canada dropshipping article right below this video so you can also read about it after watching this video. But all in all, dropshipping is a legal business model that you can start today as long as you follow the basic rules of what you can and cannot sell and what your tax obligations are when you're selling to Canada. And I will just touch this briefly you'll have a sales tax, which is when you're purchasing from your supplier, that's being automated for you. And you're also collecting tax from your buyers, but that also depends on where you're selling. If you're selling on marketplaces like eBay and Facebook Marketplace, the tax is already being taken in advance by the buyer and deducted from your payouts. But if you're dropshipping in other places like Shopify, Wix, WooCommerce, and so forth, you will need to calculate the sales tax, collect it, and pay to the Canadian government. But one more quick note regarding that, if you live in Canada, you'll also have to register a business. And if you live anywhere outside of Canada and you wanna dropship to Canada, you'll also have to register a business in the state that you live in. And regarding your tax obligations, ask your local accountant that's taking care of your local business in the state where you live. They'll give you all the information that you need to know, not only about your local taxes, but what you'll also have to owe the Canadian government when dropshipping to there. Now, don't be startled by this. Everyone has to go through the legal stuff and it's fine. Once we get used to it, it becomes easy, it becomes practical, and we can go on to earning and profiting. So how do we start a dropshipping business in Canada? What are the first steps? The first thing that you wanna do before starting a dropshipping business on Canada or anywhere for that matter is product research. And this is something that you really have to get on point and put a lot of work into product research because as I always say, if you are not selling a product that people are looking to buy, you're not gonna be making any sales. And then it doesn't matter how many hours, weeks, and months you put into your store, no one's gonna buy anything and all of that time you spent goes to waste. So first things first, learn how to conduct fruitful product research and get the best and most trending products that your audience is looking to buy. So how are we gonna go about doing that? Now there are a few main methods of conducting product research. There are many methods, but I'm going to narrow that down for you to my favorite product research methods from my five plus years of dropshipping. So the first one is starting off with the AliExpress Dropshipping Center. And if you haven't heard about it, it's a great place to find trending products and it's a free tool that AliExpress gives anyone who needs it. So I'm just gonna click on the link right here in the blog below. And as you can see, I am in the Dropshipping Center. If you don't have an account, of course, you're going to have to create your own free account. And then you're gonna click on find products to sell. Now here, you can conduct a search or just scroll down with your mouse and see what products are trending. This will give you a good idea of what's selling, what's popular right now in the dropshipping market and in the general consumer market. And of course you can select anything from a certain category. Now my tip to you is to go for a niche 
that you actually like, something that you have a passion for. No matter where you wanna sell, it'll be much easier for you to optimize your product page and create your brand, create your niche around something that you actually like, something that you actually enjoy, something that you actually have a passion over. So here you can choose any type of category that you want, create your search term, and of course you have all kinds of filters here to help you out. And one of the filters that I recommend using is the ship from and ship to. Now when you're drop shipping in Canada, you wanna look for suppliers that have fast domestic shipping times and we're gonna to get to suppliers soon. But for fast domestic shipping times, you wanna find those that can actually ship from Canada. So in this case, I would change my ship from to Canada, but AliExpress doesn't have any warehouses in Canada, so that's not a possibility here. But we can see what can ship to Canada. So in the ship to, we're going to select Canada. And now I'll be seeing all the products that can actually ship to Canada. But in any case, play around with the AliExpress dropshipping center. This is one of the first places to find products. Sometimes it doesn't work as well, but leave that as a tool on the side, save it into your favorites and use it when you're starting to do product research. The next method of finding great and trending products to sell is using AutoDS's new product research tool. This is built into the AutoDS system. It doesn't cost any money to use it. If you want a full explanation of all of the features that you have, Inside AutoDS's new product research tool and how you can use it to benefit your dropshipping store, of course, click on the link to the AutoDS product research tool in the blog below. But here's a quick glance. So on the AutoDS platform, you're gonna switch over to the product research by clicking on the dots on the top left. And here is the new product research tool. It's very easy to switch to different categories, go to different suppliers, and soon you'll also have wholesale dropshipping suppliers that you will have exclusive access to. But until then, you have all the information that you need here. You can easily import the product by clicking on import product when you're hovering over, or click on the product to go inside and get more details like the customer reviews, the policies, and many more things. So use this tool to help you save a lot of time when researching for products to sell and knowing what's trending in the market today. The third is going to Amazon Amazon's Canada's bestsellers. So what you want to do here is head over to Amazon Canada and you can do so once again by using the link right here. So in Amazon Canada, you have the bestsellers and movers and shakers and they're both taking you to amazon.ca, which is Amazon Canada. So I'm going to click on bestsellers. I'm going to click on movers and shakers. And here we can see all of the products that can ship to Canada from, of course, Amazon Canada's website. So first, get yourself familiar with the best categories on the left side, the best categories for dropshipping. And we have lots of explanations of that on our blog page, but basically you wanna stay away from things that you cannot resell, like apps for Android, Audible books, Amazon devices and accessories, gift cards, movies, TV shows, software, video games, and that's just from a quick glance. But the rest are pretty good, like pet supplies, patio lawn and garden, office products, musical instruments, luggages, bags, electronics, clothing and accessories, beauty and personal care, and many more. So there are many categories and tens of millions of products for you to dropship from. Just go inside the right categories and look for Amazon's bestseller. So this is Amazon's bestsellers page. They're showing you all of the products that are selling really well. And of course you can dropship them to Canada. Same thing for movers and shakers. Here you're seeing the top trending items in the last 24 hours that's refreshing constantly. So here you guys are gonna get a lot of great ideas of what products you should be testing out and with the dropshipping business model where you only pay once you get paid and you don't have to invest in any inventory, it makes testing products a whole lot easier because it's easy to replace and remove products that are not selling while adding more products that are also selling and also similar to those products that are selling to continue multiplying your sales while always researching for more products on the side and testing the market for new products, new niches, and new angles. So using Amazon's best sellers and movers and shakers is another great way to find great products to sell. Besides that, you also have AutoDS's blog page and YouTube channel at youtube.com slash AutoDS. Our blog page is of course at autods.com slash blog and they are both filled with lots and lots of product information of what products you should be selling. If I just go into it right now, you can see that we already have the top 10 products to dropship in June. While I'm recording this video, we're in the month of May, so we're always helping you guys get ready ahead of time. And the same goes for our YouTube channel. While it does have a lot of that, it also has a lot of tactics on how to run and manage a successful dropshipping business. So all of the best tips right here, and as you see our main video right now, is the top 10 products to dropship in May. Soon, of course, we're going to switch that with June, but right now we're in May. The last recommendation that I have for you here is to use AutoDS's product research dropshipping spreadsheet. Once again, link in the blog below this video. So I'm gonna click on that link, and what you're gonna see here is a spreadsheet where you can fill in information and this will help you narrow down your products. So you're gonna put in the product's name, 
the source link where you found it from, and then you're gonna answer all these questions. Are you passionate about this product? Is it hard to find in stores? Is it hard to guess the price? Is it safe to sell? Can this product be bought without much research? Does this product solve a problem or stand out? Does it cost less than $30 because it's easier to sell cheaper products than expensive right off the bat? And does it comply with Facebook's ad policies? Even though you're not dropshipping on Facebook or running Facebook ads on this product, they have commerce policies which will help you get a great idea of what you can and cannot sell and what you should and shouldn't do when posting items up for sale or when running ads on them. Now, once you fill in the spreadsheet and you'll have some that have the answer no, then you'll look for the product where you have the most or 100% of yeses and those are the products that you should narrow down and try selling them first, test them out with the market. Just click on file, make a copy and get to work. Okay, so those are the best product research methods. Use that, work very, very hard when it comes to product research and don't stop learning, don't stop researching. This is what's gonna take up the most amount of time when you're creating your dropshipping store and also when you're managing your dropshipping store because after you add a dropshipping automation, which we'll talk about soon, this will automate most of your daily tasks. And then the only thing that you'll have left to do is take care of product research and maybe a little bit of customer service. Step number two, work with Canadian dropshipping suppliers. So now that you've found products that you want to sell and you're ready to start selling them, you need to see who can sell them to you at great prices with fast shipping times to your Canadian audience. Now, as I mentioned, you wanna drop ship from Canada. You wanna look for suppliers who have warehouses in Canada and can simply send their items one by one to your buyers every time you get orders. Now, if you're drop shipping from Canada warehouses to the Canadian audience, then of course you're drop shipping from into Canada, meaning your shipping and delivery times are going to be down to a minimum. In other words, very fast shipping, very fast delivery, very happy and satisfied customers who will return to purchase from your store. That is something that we're looking for and we are not looking to sell products that take about 30 days to reach the buyers. Our buyers today have less patience than they did a few years ago. And today we're in the in-demand era. Everyone wants everything here, now, and fast. Here are some of the best Canadian dropshipping suppliers that you can use to help skyrocket your Canadian dropshipping business, starting with Amazon Canada. Then you've got eBay Canada, Printful, Gelato, CJ Dropshipping, Walmart Canada, Home Depot Canada, Etsy Canada, Best Buy Canada, New Egg Canada, Hudson's Bay, Costco Canada, Canadian Tire, Wayfair Canada, Overstock Canada, Lowe's Canada, and Costway Canada. How many times did I just say Canada? So those are some of the best dropshipping suppliers and it goes without saying, but tens of millions of products are available for you to resell using these suppliers. Now, granted, some of these suppliers are retail suppliers and not so dropshipping friendly like Amazon and Walmart, but that does not mean that it's impossible to dropship from them. In fact, thousands are doing it and thousands will continue to do so. But on the other hand, you also have dropshipping friendly suppliers. So if that's the route you wanna take, you've got CJ Dropshipping, Printful, Wayfair, and others. But once again, do not worry about these things. Look for products under these suppliers that ship from and to Canada, and this will make your job a whole lot easier. Now, remember that each supplier have their pros and cons. Some sell certain product niches and some don't. So it's good to test them out, see what they have, see how long it takes to ship to Canada and what their return and payment policies are. The best part is that when you're using dropshipping automation with AutoDS, you can use it with all of these suppliers except for Printful, Gelato, and maybe one more that I missed out, Hudson's Bay, but the rest of them are completely supported by AutoDS for dropshipping automation, meaning you can add as many products as you want from those suppliers and you'll have full price and stock monitoring, quick product importing, automatic orders, and more. So you're done with product research and you search for those products using these suppliers. Now you know what products you want to sell and where you're gonna get them from. The next step is to know what platform you're actually gonna sell them on. So now you're actually going to choose a dropshipping selling channel. And here I'm gonna recommend the top three dropshipping selling channels to use when dropshipping to Canada. eBay, Wix, and Shopify. Here are the differences between them. When dropshipping from eBay, or eBay Canada that is, you're actually dropshipping on a marketplace. So this means that you already have millions of buyers who enter this marketplace every day and search for products that they want to buy. When your product is one of those products, meaning your product title matches what the buyer is looking to buy, then he will see your listing 
And this means that he can enter your store and purchase the product, meaning you're getting free organic traffic. You didn't have to pay any marketing source to bring traffic to your website. It was brought to you freely by eBay's loyal customers. So this is one of the biggest advantages of dropshipping on eBay. The second big advantage is that no store subscriptions are required to get started. eBay will start you off with free listings that you can list and only after you make some sales and you're actually making some profit and you want to add more listings to your store after of course increasing your seller limits and you can learn more about that on our blog page and on our YouTube channel. But after you're making those sales and you want to add more listings, only then will you have to subscribe for a store subscription, meaning eBay is going to give you more listings that you can sell and you won't have to pay insertion fees. But at the end of the day, starting to sell on eBay is really easy and free. Simply sign up for your store on eBay, sign up for an account on eBay, and list your first item for sale. Now, eBay today is very sensitive when creating new seller accounts, so be sure to take it step by step and read the tutorials that we have on our blog page for starting the right way on eBay. Now, on the other hand, some of the cons that eBay has is that they have relatively high selling fees. You're gonna average around 15% from your transaction fee that you will have to pay to eBay. And that is just on average from every sell. So make sure that you're always profiting enough and don't sell on a very tight profit margin range. Second is that you have limited customization options since it's not your own store, you don't have your own domain name and you're not even collecting your customer's email addresses. eBay does tend to keep that information for themselves. And that of course is for email marketing since they wanna take advantage of that and they also have initial selling limits so as soon as you start an ebay seller account you'll only be able to list around 10 items and 500 dollars in total prices and total sales and you're going to have to increase your selling limits slowly and carefully until you get to the right amount of limits where you can list thousands of items and make substantial profits so the way up today is not as easy as it was in the past it doesn't mean it's impossible but it's one thing that's taken into consideration and learn 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 Keep upgrading your knowledge, and that is what we're here to help you do. Once again, autods.com slash blog, youtube.com slash autods, all of the information that you need to succeed in your dropshipping business. Now let's talk about Shopify Canada, the second selling channel, and this is very similar to Wix. So all of the pros and cons are the same when it comes to Shopify and Wix. In other words, what you're going to do here is create your own website. You're going to have your own domain name, www.yourstorename.com. You don't have any selling limits, meaning not like eBay. Here, when on Shopify or on Wix, you can list even a thousand items on your store on your first day and actually sell them. And you have full customization options for your store. You can completely create your brand around it, cover image, navigation menus, the way your product pages look, the, the total brand design and how everything looks is completely customizable 100% because it's your own hosted website. Now let's go over some of the cons because nothing is too good to be true, right? Here on Shopify and on Wix, you're not getting any free organic traffic, meaning as soon as you list a product on your store, it's great that it exists, but nobody knows about its existence. So what you're going to have to do here is learn how to market your products. And in most cases, you're going to use external traffic sources to bring traffic to your store, meaning you're going to have to have a budget on the side for this. You have a few methods like running Facebook ads, Google ads, YouTube ads, influencer marketing, platforms, sending email promotions, and more. But those are the top five best marketing methods to use, and each one requires its own budget. If you want to know how to market your online store and how to even create your own online store from A to Z, I highly suggest checking out this 100% free course at autods.com slash courses. And here, click on learn more on the Shopify course. And this also goes for Wix. And once you're here, you can learn everything there is to know about how to start, run, and manage a successful dropshipping business on Shopify and you can also use these strategies for Wix but what we're here to learn right now is online marketing so here you have a full course on how to set Facebook ads for your store and if you want to jump straight to Facebook ads you can also check out our ebooks page so autods.com slash ebooks of course you also have everything on the navigation menu here on top so hover over resources and click on ebooks okay so here we are on the ebook section and you have how to run Facebook ads for e-commerce stores in eight, eight steps and this goes step by step where you also see my Facebook ad campaign and everything that I did there and I teach everything that I know all of my strategies everything that works for me and our experience here at AutoDS and our strategies and our databases everything that you need 
inside these eight steps ebook. That's how you're going to put up with the con that you have to have a higher marketing budget. And if you want to know what the budget needs to be, you can even start at $5 a day for your ad sets, but that should be the minimum. Anything below that, you won't be getting any results that you can actually analyze and learn from them. After we research what products we're going to sell, after we chose what suppliers we're going to use, and after we learned what selling channel we're going to use and we chose a selling channel, now it's time to create our business policies on that selling channel. Business policies simply let the buyers know what your payment, shipping, and returns options are, and this is something that buyers wanna know before they actually purchase from your store. Stores that don't have these policies are most likely to gain fewer sales than those that do have the policies. This is something that every store needs to have, and if you're selling on a marketplace like eBay, they won't let you list an item without business policies. If you wanna learn how to create business policies on eBay, once again, you have all of the explanation on our blog page and on our YouTube channel, but here's how to create business policies if you're doing it on Shopify in Canada. So if you see in the blog below on step number four, creating business policies, you can also click on the post content on the left side and go move straight to the business policies section. So here, once again, we need the shipping return and payment guidelines. We need those policies. We need our buyers to know what those policies are. Now to help you take care of this boring but mandatory legal stuff out of the way, we have created free templates for you guys to use and you can see them in the blog below. You'll have your shipping policy template, returns and refunds policy template, privacy policy and terms of service template. For each one, you simply click on it. It'll open up that template for you and you can copy and paste that into your own page on Shopify and Wix and of course, add it to your navigation menu so that your buyers will be able to see it. All you need to do here is change the brackets with your information, with your business's information and it'll be unique to your business. And when it comes to eBay, you can create your business policies directly from eBay when you're listing your first item and you can choose those templates when you're adding products through AutoDS. Full explanation in the blog below this video. I'm not going to get into it now, but it's actually very, very simple. Now let's learn how to add products to our stores because now our stores are pretty much ready. We've got the products that we want to sell. We know where we're going to get them from. We chose our selling channel. Our legal business policy pages are ready. Now it's finally time to add those products to our stores and start making those sales. Now, the first way to import your products is to simply do it manually. Go to that product that you found on your supplier's website, like this product right here, for example, and then click on the image and start downloading the images one by one. However much time that may take, copy all of the product's information and paste it on your selling channel when you're creating a new listing. But this method right here is going to take way, way too long, especially if you want to have a few thousand listings in your store to maximize your sales and profits. The manual way to do it is a possible way to do it, but it's definitely not the best and most recommended way to do it. What is that way you ask? Using dropshipping automation, as I've mentioned in this video. And with AutoDS, you can do that very, very easily. There are a few product import methods. I'm not gonna go in depth because you have all of the explanation in the blog below this video and more than enough on that on our blog page once again on our YouTube channel. But let me just show you a quick example of how easy it is. Let's say that this is the product that I wanna sell in my store. What I'm gonna do is copy the URL. All I'm gonna do is click on add products, single product, paste that URL right here. As you can see, it already knows that the region is Canada. And then I'm gonna click on edit now quick. Now the system is grabbing all the information from the supplier's website and it's pasting it onto our drafts page where we can optimize this product and work on it before actually importing it to our store. And in just a few seconds, the product with the title and the description and everything else got imported from the supplier's page to the draft section of our store. And here we only have this one variation, but in the settings, you can tell the system to grab all the variations or just one or whatever you want. There are many settings to play around with, but as you can see in just a few seconds, I got all of the product's information from the supplier's page onto the drafts page of my store. And once I'm done optimizing the product and everything else that goes that comes with it, I'm going to import it to my store. I'm gonna click on save and import, and then it'll move from the drafts to the product section of my store, meaning now it's live and anyone can go and purchase it. Another way is if, for example, you found a niche that's selling well for you, like let's say, this filament for 3D printers are growing really well, so you wanna add as many of them as possible to your store. What you're gonna do is download and install the AutoDS Chrome dropshipping extension. Of course, it's free. You can find it on Google, just search for AutoDS Helper, or of course, hover to the top of our website and find it there. And what you're gonna do here is click on the circle to open up the extension, stay on that page where you have all of the products that you wanna add, and then you'll click on Extract, all of the products that you see here, their IDs just got extracted into the extension. We're gonna click on export a CSV. 
CSV. As you can see, a CSV file was created on my computer. And then I'm gonna click on add products. Instead of single, I'm gonna go for multiple products and click on the upload CSV column right here. You can drag and drop that CSV file or click on it to open up your file browser window. Find that export file, double click on it, processing CSV, three, two, one, and file is uploaded. Now, all you're gonna do is click on add as a draft and all of those products that you had, whether it's 20, 30, 100, or 1,000, they will all get imported to your store in just those few clicks and in just a few seconds. So this is a great way to save an endless amount of time when importing products to your stores. You can also add URLs or IDs right here. So just paste the URL right here for every product ID. Like let's say, let's say, let's go inside this product. You can grab either the ID or the whole URL. So I'm gonna copy the URL, paste it here, go to the next product, paste the URL, go to the next product, paste the URL, and continue moving down the line this way. So there are a few methods of adding products to your stores, and this is just one of the many features that you have when using AutoDS. So add those products to your store and see how much time you're going to save there. Once you are done adding your products to your store, the next step is to market your products because as I mentioned before, if you're dropshipping on Wix or Shopify or WooCommerce or any place where you have your own domain name, no one knows that your store exists. And now you have to use marketing methods to bring those buyers to your stores. So I already mentioned them before, I gave you a tip already, but if you wanna learn more about that, of course, read the blog below this video and go a little bit more in depth into all of these marketing methods. And of course, you'll have all the tools and links that you'll need to learn about these marketing methods even further. For example, I also mentioned influencer marketing platforms. This is a way where you can use influencers, hire them to make a shout out for your brand, for your product, for your niche, for your store. And of course they will do so and bring their audiences to your store. The only thing that you wanna watch out here for is that their audience are relevant to your product or niche. And we have an article, as you see right here, on the best influencer marketing platforms, where you will be able to easily find influencers that are relevant for your niche, instead of looking for them one by one. Now, after you put the marketing stuff on the side, and this is really important, you're gonna have to work hard and put many hours into marketing, just as you're gonna do inside product research. But once you get the hang of marketing, it's very addicting, you're gonna have a lot of fun doing it. Just make sure that you're putting a budget aside that you can afford to lose in the first couple of weeks until you start to get the hang of things. So $5 a day ad sets is my way to start. Now that you marketed your products, you are finally getting some orders. And if you're dropshipping on eBay, you're getting orders without even marketing your products. But either way, now it's time to fulfill those orders, go to our suppliers' websites and purchase the products and ship them directly to our end customers. Now this is the manual way of doing it. So every time you get an order, you'll also see it on your AutoDS screen, of course, if you're using AutoDS. If not, you'll simply see it on your selling channel. And here you will see your orders. So on the one hand, you can click on the source's website on the source link right here and add that product to your cart, purchase it, and make sure that you're shipping it to your customer's address. And it really depends on what suppliers you are using. Some suppliers have no problem with it and you can even order a hundred times per day and other suppliers like amazon can lock your account after getting multiple orders per day to different addresses because they don't primarily support dropshipping from their platform but on the other hand you can use services like fulfilled by AutoDS, which means it's not using your buyer accounts to fulfill orders AutoDS has enough of them as it is and this way you can also enjoy dropshipping from places like amazon with no problem easy one click returns orders go out as soon as they come in tracking is updated automatically and you don't have to worry about account locks or bans. So this is a great way to go about fulfilling your orders. You can do it the manual way. You can use automatic orders which still automates your orders but uses your buyer accounts or the fulfilled by AutoDS service which automates your orders without using your buyer accounts which is my personal favorite method. Don't forget to update tracking information if you're doing it manually. If not, you don't have to worry about it because automatic orders will come with automatic tracking updates and also automatic tracking conversions. So you won't have those AMCL tracking numbers that are not trackable, they will be converted to a tracking number that you can use and win in cases if a buyer says they didn't receive the item and of course they did receive it. Now that we are fulfilling orders, we need to learn how to give outstanding customer service to our buyers. It's inevitable, buyers are gonna reach out to us, sometimes they're gonna be happy and simply give us positive feedback, but sometimes they will have a problem with one of the products, they'll wanna return it, whether it's buyer remorse or whether it arrived damaged or for any other reason. And here you're going to have to provide exceptional customer support. Log into your selling channels every day, 
see what messages you have. On AutoDS, if you're dropshipping on eBay, you also have the customer support section where you can see all of your customers' messages under one screen, no matter how many stores you have, and take care of customer service from there. But if you're on Shopify, Wix, or any other platform, log into your selling channel and see what messages your buyers are selling you. You can also get them to your email if you have stores on Shopify or Wix. But in any case, answer your customers' messages, give them the support that they, that they deserve, and if they wanna return a product, don't try to argue with them, go to your supplier's website, get a return label from them if you're eligible for it, and if they're not eligible for a return, if you are not, then also the buyer is not according to the policies that you set, which should be in line with your suppliers. In a case where you're not eligible for a return, you simply explain it to the buyer and be very professional in how you talk and how you communicate with them. So respond to the buyers on time, give them what they need. This is for the long-term survivability of your dropshipping business and one of the most important parts at that. So you're providing great customer service, you're getting those sales, you're happy with your store, but now it's time to scale. You're making sales, you're making profit, but now you want the bigger picture. You zoomed out, you see the potential of what you built here, and now it's time to really start raking in those profits and enjoying the fruits of your labor. So how are you gonna do that? There are many ways to scale your dropshipping business and of course it also depends on where you are selling. Rule number one, you cannot scale without dropshipping automation and sorry if it sounds too markety, but I'm gonna say it again. You cannot scale your business without dropshipping automation. Working manually is no way to scale. You wanna have price monitoring, meaning every time a price changes on your supplier's website, it'll also change in your store accordingly, so you'll maintain the profit margin that you have set there, no matter how many products you have on your store. And also stock monitoring. Every time a product goes out of stock on my supplier's website, I also want it to go out of stock on my Canada store because I don't wanna sell products that I don't have in stock. And once you have thousands of products, you will not be able to see every day what's happening with your products and every time a supplier makes a small change when it comes to price and stock. Also the fast import methods, which I showed you. You can import products in just a couple of seconds to your store and this will save you the time that you need to work on product research, to work on marketing your store and to work on customer support. These are the top three things that you need to put the most amount of time on. Customer support won't take that much amount. It'll take about one one to 2% of your total time. This is nothing compared to what you're actually getting out of it. So dropshipping automation is the first step to scaling. Price and stock monitoring, quick product importing, automatic orders, which will not only save you time because your orders are being processed while you sleep and while you travel. Also tracking numbers are updated so your buyers will also know what's going on with their packages and they'll also get it really, really quick. You can wake up in the morning to see a new order, not only ordered, but also shipped with tracking information. It can't really get better than that. And of course, once you reach 50 plus orders per day, you cannot spend all day just fulfilling orders because now you're not investing that time in growing your dropshipping business. Now, besides that, there are many, many more automation features that you have on AutoDS. So head over to AutoDS.com, check it out, try out your trial for a dollar, and I'm sure that you will stick with it and you will enjoy those sales and profits and growing slowly and steadily. To finish off, every time you make a sale, go to the product that sold for you and add more products that are similar to that one and also bundle it with more accessories so that you will also increase your average order value by increasing the customer's shopping cart. So every time you sell a product, add more products like that, more products that are similar to it while always, of course, testing out the market for new products, but keep multiplying your success by adding more products that are similar to those that are selling for you because you already found something that people are willing to buy and they bought it from you. The next tip is to work with multiple dropshipping suppliers. And this is a great way to scale your business. So we already named about 16 or 17 dropshipping suppliers in this video, and there are more suppliers when it comes to it. So see what your suppliers have. You should always work with around three to four suppliers simultaneously. So if one doesn't do the job, switch it with another that you have on this list. And this way you'll always have a reach to a significant amount of products that you can resell on your stores. So dropshipping automation, multiple suppliers, and while Canada is one of the best regions to dropship to today, you should always consider catering to more regions worldwide, learning the worldwide market, and seeing what products are also selling in other regions around the world. You will surprise yourself by the things that you learn when selling to more regions worldwide and not sticking only to one. I hope that you enjoyed this video on how to start a successful dropshipping business on Canada. Remember to keep the shipping domestic, have fast shipping and delivery times, take care of your customer service, work hard, really hard when it comes to product research, and of course, market marketing your store and your business unless you're dropshipping on eBay. Even though eBay does have promotion options and you can read and learn about it on our blog page. Once again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to always learn more about dropshipping
marketing techniques and what you need to do to scale your business to the next level, whether you are an active seller or whether you're just getting started. Like and share this video if you appreciate the value. Thank you for making it this far. It shows that you are serious about this business. Keep learning and good luck with your dropshipping business.